welcome back guys hello hi and how are ya i am so glad to see you today even though i can't actually see you but i'm glad you're here so if you're just joining me again my name is amber latrice i talk all about um entrepreneurship and just life in general okay i i vlog and provide information on how to start a business run a business uh, be successful in life, some self-help, some self-care. I Basically, I'm, I'm doing it all. And my goal here is just to motivate, inspire, and hopefully educate. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into what today's video is about. So last week, I made a post on my other social media accounts about just a notary tip because if you've been following me, I am a notary a signing agent. And so I do provide um, notary tips and hacks um, quite often. And this one happened to be about marketing using email templates. And so a lot of you, um, well, first let me just talk about what the tip was. So the tip was to create um, email templates in your Google, um, I'm sorry, your Gmail or your email account so that you don't have to recreate and rewrite your emails every time you're reaching out, following up, every time you're doing like a cold call email. Um, these templates are already created and all you basically have to do is click the name of the template or the type of the template and change the name on the, um, the recipient who you're sending it to. And so with that being said, I said, that's the tip you need to be making the process easier for yourself rather than copying, pasting, going back to find the email or just rewriting emails in general. That's just too much time wasted when you can just have a template already done where you're already just changing out the, um, the names. Hopefully you've gone in and put a signature in your email so that every time you create an email, it's already there. And if you need me to do a tutorial or how to do that, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that just like I'm doing this for today's video. All right, so um, with the email templates, like I said, it's super easy and I'm about to pull up my computer here and go through the steps with you. If you have a Google account or a Gmail account, it literally takes five minutes to do, okay? So we use that when you are reaching out to clients. If you've gone and visited their business, you're doing this to follow up. You are checking, sorry guys, uh, checking in with clients this way. Um, you can put your message emails on auto send or, or, or schedule send so you can send them out um, at specific times and you can send like everybody at the same time if you just put it in the BCC or the blind copy section of the send um, area on the email. And so um, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead um, you know, and get to it. And so, I'm sorry, before I get to it, I'm sorry, let me just stop rambling. Um, I did have a couple more points I wanted to make. So this email can be used. I personally use email templates in my own business um, in many different ways. I use it to market to title companies, escrow officers, realtors, lenders, attorney offices, basically any company or business in my community that I feel would benefit from my services. I have um, a email template to send out to them. Or if I don't have one, if it's like a new business and it needs to be tweaked, I will create a new one. Luckily for you, if you um, follow me, like I said last week, I saw the big need because you guys like let me know, you know, pretty much in my emails and my my DMs that you wanted a information on how to create the template and B you want the template. So I did um, create a, a temp like you can go on my website now and just download my um, email templates that I use to this day to title companies, escrow officers, attorneys, um, and all you have to do is you know, copy and paste it, make your own template and change the names and you're good to go. Okay. So I've already created that for you. It's done. You don't have to do anything. There's a subject line in there, something to get their attention. So they'll actually open the email and, um, 
and then that's it. You just send the emails out, okay? There are eight of my templates in um, my download that you can get from the website if you wanna know. I did have a few people ask me, is it just one template here or two? But I put eight of them in there, okay? So you'll see once you get in there and download it. And so one last thing I wanna to touch on before I get into the video of how to create these templates is the purpose of this is to save you time, okay? Um, saving even 10 minutes to 15 minutes out of your day adds up quite a bit if you think about it over time. And for me, I'm always thinking of ways to uh, either diversify my business, make my business um, run automatically in some areas or autopilot as we should, as, you, as you've heard or, sit, or people call it, um, or just simply make my life easier. And so um, this makes my life easier. I use it like again, I use it for notary. I also use it for my consultation business. I use it for all kinds of things. Guys. All right, so let's get into it, guys. It's super easy. It literally does not take that long, maybe five minutes or 10 minutes to set up. And once you have it set up, you're gonna be like, why haven't I been doing this all alone? Why didn't I learn this earlier? So stay tuned, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with how to create email templates. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is pull up your Gmail and you're gonna go to this area where it has settings and you're gonna go to the area that says all settings, click that. Okay, um, at the top, there's gonna be a lot of different options. You're gonna go over to where it says advanced and click advanced settings. All right, so that's where you'll see auto advance and second is templates, all right? When you initially start, it's gonna be disabled. You need to enable it to enable templates. Told you guys, super simple. Make sure you go all the way down and click save changes for it to go into effect, all right? So next you are going to uh, go and create an email or create the email that you want to use as a template. I'm just going in my drafts because it's already done there for you. So um, you go like you're going to create a an email. All right. X off of that. And you're going to type in uh, the subject line of what you want it to be um, so that when you search your templates, you'll know exactly which template. I'm calling this template the realtor referral template. All right, and so I'm just gonna copy and paste one of my templates in. You would type in whatever you want or use one of my templates if you got it. You're gonna go to down at the bottom where these three dots are and you're gonna click templates, okay? Uh, go to where you click save draft as template and then you're gonna go to save as new template. So this email is now going to be saved as a new template for realtors. And that's literally it, guys. So um, I'm about to show you how to go through and find the template once you create a new email. All right, so getting back out of that, you're in a blank email now. You don't have to retype everything up. It's all done, set, done, set and done for you. You're gonna go back down to those three dots, go back to templates, and there you go. There's the template you just created, Realtor Referral Template. You click it and it shows up you're going to change any name that you need to at the top if you want to change the subject line that's where you would change the subject line and guys i mean that's it as you can see i'm just going to type in a random name here uh, just show you the amount of effort it takes uh, to change your email once the template is pulled up you're going to just write the first name or the first and last name um, of the person you're wanting to contact. And of course, if you're typing to a real estate agent or a, a title company, you're gonna change the name of the company as well, okay? Um, I'm just having, I just accidentally clicked on something. So as you can see, I'm just correcting my mistakes. Um, but basically um, what I'm demonstrating here is changing the name or the company name on the template, all right? So once that is done, you are going to, you know, proofread it and then you're going to press send. All right. At the bottom of that, you are going to, oh, I'm sorry, finish typing in your last name. 
And so I'm going to show you quickly how you can schedule send your emails as well. All right, so instead of clicking send, if you want to send this maybe like tomorrow, um, I'm going to show you which button to click here. All right, so instead of clicking send, you click the arrow and then you click schedule send. And it usually gives you three common options tomorrow morning at eight, tomorrow afternoon or, or Monday morning or you can customize the date and time you want to send. Okay, I'm picking September 5th um, and I'm going to change the time. And then schedule send and that's it. Once you're all done, um, it will be in this scheduled section of your um, options there and you can see it if you need to go back and change it or or unschedule it so it's not um, you know lost or anything all right and so with that being said if you are interested in the templates that i have for all of the companies that i email whether it be a title company, attorney office, whatever, initial email, check-in email, I have that. You can get that at my website at www.thenotaryshop.org. Hopefully this was helpful and you guys got a little bit of um, information from this. You guys hit me in the comments down below or um, in my email and I'll be sure to answer any questions for you. Have a good day.